I guess this is where you can park because I see the back of the store. Wait, do I have to pay? I will not be paying to park, but this is what it looks like. So I guess I can get out and go through there. It looks like that. This is definitely different than the other Target Express that I saw before. Okay, you guys, so I found parking. I'm on the regular street. I'm like just by a curb down the street around the corner <laughs> because I refuse to pay for parking. Uh, it's nothing but like, I don't know, it's half a block to walk back to it. But I'm gonna go in here. I don't know if you guys followed me for a long time. I went to a different Target Express when it, er, when it opened uh, out here and that one is actually down the street and around the corner. Uh, I was trying to debate if I was going to go down there and kind of compare the two, but this one right here is brand spanking new. I think it's only been open for a few weeks, uh, and I haven't been in here, uh, so I want to go in and see what they have. I was told this one was bigger than the other Target Express. That one was just one level. This one is two levels, so I just want to see what it is, and then for any of you that don't know, Target Express is like the same as a regular Target, but it's supposed to be just an express location where you can get some of the stuff you get at Target, but not as much. So if you've never been into a Target Express, then this is why we are here today. I just want to show you what's in there. And yeah, I wonder if they, you know, it's been so long. I can't even remember if the other one had a dollar spot. I don't know. So let's go in here and see. <sighs> let me, I'm happy I got on some good walking shoes. So let me get around this corner. <laughs> and we are here. Okay, so I guess this is like a back door. So let's see what they got. So far walking in this location, I mean in that door, I see men's clothing. And as you can see, it's kind of small. You just got belt hats, a few, a few shirts. And that is pretty much it for right here. And they got the Goodfellow brand. In this little area, they got some elevators, an ice thing. Uh, what is this area? I like the seasonal. The little seasonal area. No, this isn't even a seasonal area. I forgot where this is. This is the stuff that be over by the, um, the cards. So this is what you get. Let's see. On the first floor. You got kids, market, men's, school and office, fitting rooms, cash machine, escalator. And then on the second floor, there's baby, beauty, home, household, and all of that other stuff. We are going to go upstairs, but like I said, I came in that back door, so sorry it's loud. Um, and then this is more of their gift supplies, and then behind me is their car section. If you can look over there, they have two self-checkout registers and the order pickup returns and exchange area right there. More cards. Next to the men's section, here is a small section for women. So let's see, there's the fitting room. You got one fitting room. Here's some of their workout stuff. So you have that one little section. And this store is set up to be made for college students. That's what it was said when I read into it. Oh, these are cute. <laughs> be there in a Prosecco. <laughs> That's cute. Um, yeah, it's set to be made for college students you know to be kind of quick if you just want to grab a couple things so that's why it's called Target Express a few more clothing oh they even got some of the universal thread stuff I think it's a pretty nice selection and they even have some of the shoes, the little mules down there. And that's pretty much all the shoes I see so far. 
We got this couple things. Some belts. Beverages, candy. More shirts. So that's the little register area. And then by this front part of the store, I don't know. I don't want to say this is um, the dollar spot. <laughs> I'm not sure which color will you get. I haven't even seen these at the regular one. Just add water, make a bath bomb with a surprise inside. That's cute. $4.99. Oh, it's a Easter blind bag, I think. I don't know. But yeah, we're just kind of looking to see what's over here. So I see candy. And a little bit of the seasonal stuff over here. And right here in the middle of the floor, they got the new squishies. I showed a few of these uh, on Instagram. Look at this one. That is super cute with the three pigs. They got the new designer ones. But we are not here to look at toys. <laughs> kind of just here to see what this is all about. So... They do have a few handbags, not many. And then as you can see, they have some of the swimsuits back there, a little bit of jewelry. And this table is just the handbags. And that is about it. So if I would have came in the front door, I would have been on the main street right there. And I would have came in right there. And I would have saw this escalator. Uh, the grocery section. So I see this refrigerator. And this is what they have. I mean, if you live in the neighborhood and you just wanted to walk to like a local market or something, this would be perfect, actually. They got all the peanuts and all this good stuff over here. 10% off. This building has been here forever. It's really nice to see they finally utilized it with something that could help the community. And so this is about all the groceries they have. Actually, think this is better to shop at because when you go into a bigger target you're tempted by picking up like a bunch a bunch of stuff here you kind of limited kind of limited on what you can pick up so I'm gonna go around this corner and see what's behind the grocery section so there's the bread more refrigerators yeah the scanner And just more groceries. Ooh, dark chocolate. Yummy. So it seems like the grocery section is pretty big. And then you have your wines and your liquors over there. Tequila, Jameson. And then I'm back at the back door. And there is another little section right here. This is actually for babies or toddlers because I see small packs of panties. And this is right behind the escalator. I see socks. That's the men's section again. And here's some baby stuff. So now I'm going to go back this way and go upstairs. First thing I see is cosmetics. So this is to the right of me. This little table area and then you have this over here to the left. So let's go see. So on this table, uh, just all the small little random stuff. So you got pretty much everything that you would normally find. All the Bliss products. Shampoos and hair products. 
Here's the stationery. Oh, I just noticed these right here. Those are cute. Magnets with green U brand. This is succulents magnets for six dollars. Oh, I like those. And then all the rest of the stationery. That's a cute notebook. This one right here, but it's eleven ninety nine. More floral notebooks. Okay, so I'm not gonna go back over to that side. I'm gonna go in a circle. So then you got some of the home decor. Oh, those are nice. Nice big lanterns. These are $24.99. Project 62. We got this right here. I still love these. I love those apples. They're so pretty. $9.99. These are $5.99. You got your storage area. What's on this back wall? Mm, they got some shelving or cubes. Okay, so back here by the elevators is vacuums, towels, pillows, and then the bathroom stuff. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Bath canister, that's pretty. Okay, so this is the bathroom stuff, and then you have the towels. Barbecue supplies. Oh, look at this. I haven't seen this in my local Target Super Grandma. These are $9.99, so you get in a cup with like some snacks or a wafer. Yeah, a wafer and a top is good to be home. Oh my gosh. OMG, I'm an adult now. So they got these cute cups right here. And then these sets by Threshold. Mr. Right, Miss Always Right. <laughs> Mom Fuel. It's good to be loved and proud grandma. But look at these giant cups. These are $9.99. Let's just let's do this by clay art. The best is yet to come. College survival mug. Home sweet home. You did it. I got this from my favorite kid. That's cute. Oh, I like that teacher cup and mom fuel. Okay, and then after the cups, you got the uh, comforters and the sheets and everything over here. Here's some candles and some decor. I like that. That's $8.99. And then you got those down there. Here's some more of their decor. Here's these pretty candles. Look at that pillow. Oh, I like that. What is this? Some little lemon, fake lemon stems. I like that whole table. And then over here, you got lamps. And then the back of this table that we just looked at, look at this planter or this vase. That's really cute. They even have like a little panther head with the plants in it, $16.99. Really cute. Oh, but look at this one down here. Uh, this one says $14.99. This one doesn't have a price. 
I'm sure it was supposed to go right here, but I don't see it. But that's really pretty. I didn't want to uh, film anybody, so after the lamps, there was some picture frames. You got rugs, curtains. So you guys are kind of getting a picture or getting a feel of what this store is about. Like, you know, just pretty much Target, just on a smaller scale, but it's so cool. Here's more candles. Oh, I looked at these the other day and I posted some on Instagram. I love those jars. And more candles. And then more home stuff over here. So we're not gonna go down every row. And there are some floor mats right there. Over here is pots and pans. You got the cups, the tumblers on that back wall. Then you got some of your kitchen stuff right here. These are pretty. Then you got kitchen stuff, coffee makers, workout goodies, um, stuff for the home. And you got some more seasonal stuff up here by Spritz. This is adorable. Five dollars for that. A little baskets. And then you have a very small toy section. It's just really one whole row. And then electronics is over here. And so far it looks like it's two rows. So you have this. You have this section, and then you have that back wall. Diapers, baby supplies, detergent. You have your toothpaste. Feminine products, vitamins. And they even have a pharmacy. So the pharmacy is upstairs. And then here is the rest of the beauty area. We got the NYX. Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. All the e.l.f. products. You got Milani and CoverGirl. And then you got Real Techniques. Brushes and stuff and Eco's, Eco Tools. And then this is the last row over here. Maybelline. And all the rest of the goodies. And we are back where we started. Okay, so I am actually going to take the elevators and go back downstairs instead of the escalator. Uh, most of the store workers have been watching me like, what is she doing? <laughs> I'm surprised nobody asked me or stopped me. So I'm standing here at the elevators and I basically just kind of wanted to come and look at this one because like I said, it was just open a few weeks ago and I actually love it I wish it was a little closer to my house it's not but um, uh, I'll be trying to make sure I don't record other people getting in the elevator um, yeah so I was I wish it was closer to my house but then I mean this is really convenient for students and people that just live in the area. So I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough to see what Target Express was about. The one around the corner, like I said, was a little bit smaller. Uh, I've been there in the past. I'm not going to go there today. But um, thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.